Hey guys, are you ready for more amazing Funko Mystery Minis? Me too. But first, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Amino. Amino is an app of communities, ranging anywhere from Marvel, to Five Nights at Freddy's, to Doctor Who, and anime, of course. Basically anything you're a fan of is on there. I mean, just look at this. There's nearly 4,000 members online for the anime Amino, and more than 1,500 of them chatting. But for now, I'm going to mostly talk a little bit about the Funko Pop Amino. Yes, they have that too. Are you an avid Funko Pop, Mystery Mini, or Plushie collector? Well now, there's a community you can become a part of that's all about Funko and their great collectibles. Here you can show off your amazing collections, and have them commented on by other members of the community. Test your knowledge with quizzes, contribute to polls, and chat of course. And the best part is, it's all free! I actually made a poll on the Funko Amino asking what characters from Five Nights at Freddy's need a mystery mini. I'm curious what you guys want the most. Right now I'm thinking Withered Freddy. I mean, he's from the second game! Why don't we have him already?! Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. The Twisted Ones mystery minis are finally here. And I still haven't even finished reading the book! But nonetheless, I'll surely enjoy these minis. Mystery minis are just so awesome, how could I not? Oh, and I forgot to mention, these minis include the sister location characters as well. But before we get started, I have some complaining to do. Funko. Yes, you. Come here. Sit. Funko. Do you realize that you're ruining the magic of mystery minis? If I didn't have a channel where I reviewed these, and just saw this lovely new box of figures in the store, I might have been tempted to try my luck and buy a few. Maybe even the whole box, so I can get a wide variety of cute little characters from my favorite book series. But oh boy, I would have been just as disappointed as I am now. This time around, there are four different characters that are found in every six. That means only two of every six is something different than them. Four doubles, out of the box that only contains 12 figures. From my knowledge, Funko hasn't done this to the FNAF Mystery Minis before. I'm not even sure they have to any other series either. Yes, it makes the rare figures harder to get, and therefore are more rare. But is that really a good thing for us? No. And it's definitely not a good thing for the casual fan who might walk away with a bunch of doubles. I don't like this Funko, and I really hope you never do it again. Nobody wants two of the same character, let alone four doubles. To possibly increase my luck of what I find today, I actually bought more than one box. Which is unusual for me. But when you have this many doubles, what choice do we have? Anyway, let's take a look at the new box. It has a nice glowy blue color, with your typical display of the various characters that can be found within. Looks pretty great. Now, at the time of me making this video, these minis can only be found at Hot Topic. They'll be in other stores later, but for now, they've only been found in Hot Topic thus far. So, obviously, we don't have a chance at finding the exclusives from other stores. Sadly. As for the order we'll be going in, the usual. And I'll open the extra four I found afterwards. Let's look at these cuties already! First box! Whoa, it's the Wolfy Wolf! Dang, look at this guy! Talk about fluffy. Is that a cape made of fur? Just look at this guy's paint. He looks really good. Sometimes mystery mini paint can be a bit spotty, but this is decent for all those teeth and tiny details. I really want to know more about these characters. Once again, guys, I apologize for my lack of preparedness. I'm almost halfway through the book and still haven't read anything about these characters. And yeah, that is part of a Pop-Tart box I used for a bookmark. And for those of you wondering, yes, I am doing an audiobook on the Twisted Ones. So if you're just as clueless as me, the audiobook is coming soon. Ish. I'm assuming this is the main character of the Twisted Ones, alongside Nightmare. He looks so cool! Now sadly, thanks to Oliver, he isn't able to move his head side to side. But no biggie. I love the effect of him turning into an animatronic. Or the opposite. Who knows? It's a neat thing I didn't expect to have been done to his mini. And just look at that mouth! My word! That's terrifying. Let's move on before I make this whole video just about one mini. <laughs> Next box, let's see who it is. Whoa! Twisted Bonnie! This has been one of my favorite Twisted characters when they all started being teased. Drawing him was so fun! The way his mouth opens is perfectly horrifying. And Funko did not slack on that design. They definitely didn't slack on anything. Look how insanely detailed he is. 
From the rips, to the bubbles, to the endo, everything here looks amazing! One thing that's kind of always bothered me though was the triangle-shaped heads all the FNAF mystery minis have. It's a bit odd, but I understand it's just the stylistic choice. But gosh dang if it isn't accentuated here! The extra jaw and an abnormally pointed head makes him look like a pyramid head! Uh... Not that pyramid head. Anyway, I am in love with this figure. Funko, you done good! Onto our third box, and so far, I just feel pure joy! Mystery minis have always made my day. Let's see what awesome character is next. Oh boy, here's just the beginning of our double disaster. Another Twisted Bonnie. At least in this set, the doubles are really neat figures. Unlike the Rick and Morty set I reviewed last week. Mr. Poopy. Funko is literally handing out poopy butts for the more unlucky customers. Really? Next up, let's hope for a new character. Oh boy, he's here! He finally exists! Nightmare! Yes, finally! One of the main characters of FNAF 4, alongside Nightmare Fredbear, who I still have yet to get, the one and only Nightmare. I really appreciate all the silver endo beneath his black outer self. I also really love his pose. It's just like the one from the FNAF 4 extras menu. Now this guy is not one of the characters that will have doubles. In fact, he's a Hot Topic exclusive, so you won't be able to find him from any other store. I love this figure. He's absolutely awesome. Next figure is... Whoa! Okay, his name isn't actually Whoa, but Whoa! Twisted Foxy! Look at this guy! He's melting right off his endo, and his flesh is showing through. Talk about a disturbing looking character. He also has what seems to be indented bubbles, and he's coming out of the... ground? Like I said, not too familiar with these characters, but I will be soon. And I have plans of drawing them eventually as well. I've loved all the figures so far, and this one as well. Funko, do a pizzeria simulator set. We need Lemonade Clown. Lemonade for everyone. And all the other characters as well, <laughs> of course. Anyway, as for Twisted Foxy, big fan. Can't wait to see what else we get in this box. About halfway through, what's next? Whoa, holy smokes, what is this? Actually, I think I have a pretty good idea for what this character is. Obviously, he's from the book, The Twisted Ones, and he's also using the base for Springtrap. So I assume he's William Afton, also known as Dave, who died in the Spring Bonnie suit at the end of Silver Eyes. I love the super dark color this guy has. He almost looks more like the real Springtrap than the actual Springtrap mystery mini. This is probably my favorite figure so far. Man, I'm just loving these new mystery minis! Why doesn't the Funko plushies have this kind of quality? Let's see what else we've got. Whoa. Spooky. Scott? What is this? I'm terrified. How am I gonna sleep tonight? It's interesting how the kind of sloppy paint makes him... almost look creepier. And the way his eyes were painted... Anyway, for those of you who don't know, this character, I believe, is unnamed. The figure is just called Magician. He only appears once in all of Five Nights at Freddy's and Sister Location. This place is... the Circus Control Room. Yep, that's him. Yep, that's all he does. So he's kind of just a strange little animatronic or toy that just sits there along with this guy, who is also a character you can find in this series. Honestly, I was hoping for the other one over this guy, but he's pretty cool to have anyway. Definitely an odd figure, which kind of makes me like him even more. I'm weird, aren't I? Next up, another double. Thanks, Funko! Twisted Foxy still rocks, though. He did nothing wrong. He just wants to live! Whoa, look at this next guy! Twisted Freddy. Talk about intense. Those are some long friggin' claws! Mouths on all his joints? Dude, this guy rocks! I have to draw him. It would be so much fun. The last time I drew him, I just guessed on his body. And it was... lame. Anyway, I love this figure. He is so cool! So far, I've been astounded with the paint on these figures. Compared to lots of things Funko makes, these have some of the best paint yet. And look at those tiny little teeth. It's astounding there's no mistakes. Only three left in this box, 
Next one we get is an immediate double. And according to the box, the next two are both Twisted Chicas, so I'll only show you one of them. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how wonderfully made these figures are! Do you see this masterpiece? Even with the most tiny of details, like on the golden cupcake, and those needle-like teeth, there's no paint mistakes. Fungo, I am so impressed right now. I'm so excited to get more of these guys. But just look at Chica. Giant claws, disturbing cupcakes protruding out of her, orange hands and feet. She even has a torn up bib under all that. This is probably one of the most impressive figures so far. Believe it or not, I actually bought four more mystery minis. And with my luck, every single one of them was a double. And that's it for our video, guys. I had tons of fun. You know, aside from those gosh darn doubles. Funko made amazing figures that I did nothing but praise. But they had to find a way to screw them up somehow. Am I right? Let's just hope I have more luck in the future finding the rest of these fellas. Anyway guys, I hope you all have an awesome night. And have pleasant dreams of these terrifying nightmares. I know I will. Bye!